Hey guys, in today's video we're going to go over some options for a relatively cheap and easy to use guitar wireless system. There's a lot of them out there, but the three most popular and most commonly used ones that I found are the three that I have right here in my fort. On the left, we have the Boss WL20, we have the X Vive by U2 right in the middle, and then we have the Line 6 G10 here on the right. Those are the three most common ones that I've seen, and these are the three that I have been using, so I figured I'd post a review on them. So let's start with pricing. As of posting this video, the Boss WL20 is $180, the Line 6 G10 is $160, and the X Vive is $150. All of these are pretty easy to set up. So for the Boss one, you plug them in together, they scan for the best channel, you plug one into your amp or the first pedal on your pedal board, and the other one goes in your guitar. Pretty easy. The G10, it's the same idea. This big block here is your receiver, and then this little unit is your transmitter. You do have to plug in the receiver via micro USB, and then it has a XLR or quarter inch out in the back, and that goes into your amp or your first pedal. In order to set up the same idea, you plug them in together, it scans, finds the best channel. And then the same thing, the transmitter plugs right into your guitar. The X5 is a little bit different. You have to choose one of the four channels possible. And to do that, you push the channel button. You push the channel button to see what channel you're on and then push the channel button twice to switch to different channels. So when the light blinks two times, it means you're on channel two, blinks three times, you're on channel three, and you set them to the same one. It's a little bit different. It doesn't have the scan uh, option. But I have found that if on channel one I'm getting interference, I go to channel two or three or four, it'll get a little bit less interference, but you still get interference. I've never had interference and I switched to a channel and it went away. It's just a little bit less. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, all three of these, I don't hear any tone loss or anything out of all of them. If you're a tone snob, maybe you'll hear something different. I personally, it just sounds like a cable to me. There's no loss in audio quality from any of them or any noticeable latency. As for charging, all three of these charge with micro USB. For the Boss one, you just plug them together like you do when you're scanning and plug in uh, micro USB and it charges it. The G10, it's the same thing. Plug it into the transmitter, into the receiver, plug in the micro USB and it charges that way. With the X5, you do have to charge them each separately. There's no way to charge them together. So you do have to use two micro USBs in order to charge them. Not a huge deal, but just letting you know. Uh, the range of all three of these are all about the same. They do list 50 feet. Considering the environment and line of sight to the transmitter and the receiver. The X5 does list it at 70 feet, but I think they're all about the same. And from my experience on using them, they're all about the same. To me, that's 50 feet is completely fine for bar gigs and smaller gigs. And I think all three of them work great for that. All right, so the battery life on all of them. The Boss has the most battery life at 10 hours. There is an indicator light. Uh, if the light is green, that means the battery is good. If the light is orange, that means you have less than two hours left, which is nice that they give you that much notice. And then a red light means that you have less than 30 minutes left. The G10 is next. It has eight hours of battery life, and the indication is a red light when you have under 30 minutes left. The X5 has five hours, and the light starts to blink when it's around like 30 to 60 minutes left. So all of them are more than capable of surviving a four hour set. It is a nice plus that the boss gives you an indicator at two hours and then at 30 minutes, whereas the other ones just give you an indicator that your battery's about to die at 30 minutes. All right, all three of these transmit on 2.4 gigahertz. I'm not an expert on frequencies, but I do know that 2.4 gigahertz is the same channel as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, so on and so forth. So you can get some random interference from this stuff. It works most of the time, but it can be unpredictable. The best piece of advice is to keep it away from a Wi-Fi router. That's always your best advice, and you will get dropouts for sure if you put these too close to those. With any wireless system, you should have a backup cable just in case your wireless doesn't work, but these are way more sensitive to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth environment and stuff like that. Something to be aware about with the G10, some pickups for acoustic guitars and active pickups don't work with this. However, Line 6 has gotten around that issue by giving a right angle adapter to fix it for most guitars that it won't work right. Uh, I did test this on my acoustic Babbitts. Just plugging the G10 in, it did not work, but when I plugged in the adapter, it was able to work. So I can confirm that it does work on my end using the adapter. All right, so again, I've used all three of these. The Boss one I've had for about two months. The X5 I've had for about a year and a half. That was one of the first ones that came out that I saw. So I've had that one for a while. And the Line 6 G10 I've been using for about a month now, and I am going to be bu uh, buying one. So my experience with all of them for the Boss WL20, I played a gig where we have three GLX wireless microphones. Those are, all three of those are on 2.4 gigahertz, just like all three of these units are. All three of the mics went down. We couldn't use any of them. They went down pretty bad, so we had to use other mics there. But the Boss 
survived the whole time. I was using, or I let my singer use it on his acoustic guitar. It never once dropped out. So pretty cool. I've used that at a gig where we have a small Wi-Fi router that we use to uh, run our mixer. I put it, I put the receiver unit right next to the router, and it had no cutouts. I never had any issues with it. I did play another gig where we. It's just there's so much interference up there. It's such a pain. But I did put the Boss receiver right next to the big router that we have up there, and it did cut out. Start. And again, you're not supposed to do that. That's specifically what you're not supposed to do. But I did test it, and yes, it does cut out if you put it next to it. In that environment where I had really heavy interference it did cut out a tiny bit so it's not bad but again 2.4 gigahertz is a little bit unpredictable um the g10 i have had no issues with it in the month that i've been using it i used it at that gig with the small router i literally had the receiver touching the wi-fi router and it never cut out once um, and then the gig with the uh, really heavy interference i did put it right next to that router and yes it did cut out again you're not supposed to do that but other than that uh it has never cut out on me so even at the few spots where the boss has cut out on me the line six g10 has not that's just my personal experience i know that all three of these can cut out giving the environment just reporting it fairly okay and the x5 i've had for about a year and a half now so i've had the most experience with this one it works great 90 percent of the time but by far it is most sensitive to dropouts and interference that gig with the small wi-fi router it does cut out every now and then but that gig with the with the bad interference and the big router forget about it i mean it wouldn't it would the light was blinking like a tremolo it wouldn't stay on at all. But at the same time, I've I've had this one for the longest and I did play uh, a 60,000 person festival with it and it worked flawlessly, no dropouts. But then a few days later, I played at a bar with maybe 20 or 30 people and it wouldn't stay on for more than five seconds without getting a dropout. Um, this one, I, uh, I have also traveled with it. Uh, I've traveled three times. First time uh, in Mexico, first time I played there, we had five hour long sets and each set it cut out about once, once maybe twice. To me, that's not that bad for... Uh, uh, you know, a gig where you're kind of just background noises. You're not, people aren't really paying attention to you. They're just kind of there for the background. So to me, it wasn't that bad of a problem. Second time in Mexico, it never cut out. I even had to leave the stage with my guitar to tell the sound guy to, to fix something in our in our mix. And it never cut out. And, you know, I walked 50-ish feet away. So I can attest to the range of this. Third time I used it, I went to the Dominican Republic and it did not work at all. I mean, it just would cut out every minute and it wasn't worth it. Um, that being said, uh, I will be flying three more times in the next few months and uh, I do plan to bring the Boss one with me and uh, and possibly the Line 6 and I will report back with how well they work in the description down below. Uh, my final bit of advice is uh, if you want a wireless that is for sure not going to cut out on you, or at least is less likely to cut out on you, these 2.4 gigahertz are a little bit more unreliable. That's just my experience with it. My nice Sure wireless, which, you know, which transmits between 512 and 560, something like that, megahertz, that one has never gone out on me in the five years that I've had it. But that one is a little bit more difficult to bring other places. You know, it's I have it Velcro down to my board. If you're looking for an easy wireless setup, this is it, but always have a backup cable. 2.4 gigahertz is just a weird one. Over the last two months, especially, just everything has just kind of gone weird with 2.4 gigahertz. Like I said, those GLX mics that I use worked great for a long time. Now, all of a sudden, they're starting to cut out no matter what channel I put them on. So maybe it'll work itself out. I don't know, but it's not a huge deal if you have to you know, switch out to a cable. All three of these, I think, would, would work great for you. So hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching.